trying to back it. Good evening, and thank you for coming to this wonderful event. Every year, Class Act 2 does a benefit performance for a local charity. And this year, we are doing it for the Gan Rivka Shelter, which is here in Milford. Fairly new facility, doing wonderful work. I have a couple of other announcements. Um, if you would please look at the back of your programs for our upcoming events. And the very bottom one is our first ever annual, maybe, telethon um, at Milford Channel 11, the cable channel here in town, that is a wonderful facility. And they have, we are working together, and they have uh, done wonderful things for us, constantly putting our shows on, airing our shows. Um, so please uh, think about being a sponsor. You can do many things with a telephone. That's not you can tell telephone, telephone, telephone there. Um, you can be a sponsor, you can watch and call in and donate as much or as little as you want. But whatever you do, watch it because it's going to be a great event also. Uh, lots of talent from MPAC, both present and past, will be performing. Lots of interesting interviews, clips from shows, and who knows what else. It's wide open. Um, also, this evening, uh, we're going to dedicate this performance to Rick Dewar, husband of Gloria Dewar, who passed away earlier today. Um, Rick was a uh, very supportive of Gloria, who has done many things with us through the years, from acting to directing to choreographing to whatever we asked her to do. Um, great talent on stage and off, and Rick was uh, just such a wonderful audience member. Always there and always laughing and cheering and giving great advice. We will miss him sorely, and the show is dedicated to him. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, 
Treasure this like in the shrine of my room. You hang tight, I'm gonna go call a cop. So <laughs> don't hit me! Don't hit me! <laughs> How did you find out? I was driving by, and I could just recognize the way you look. Because I'm your biggest fan. How? I wear a wig! <laughs> wow, well, I can just... I'm psychic. <laughs> Normally people see me as blonde! Well, Miley... <laughs> No one's ever done it before. Okay. Nice kid. Thank you. I really like it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm my own spin! <laughs> Why would I want to come up 
here. You know how I feel about heights. Yeah, but uh, it looks kind of pretty. Maybe to you. I think I will just look straight ahead. But there's nothing to see straight ahead. That's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of hitting the pit when we fall. You're not fun. I'm plenty of fun, just not when we're like 30,000 feet above the ground. But I thought dancing on the plane's wing would be fun. No, do you want to go down? Tell me what? Bring it down. No, thank you. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought we could do some fun dance moves. Hello, and welcome, welcome to my restaurant. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. What would you like? What do you recommend? Um, I recommend the food. <laughs> you, wonderful. I was going to have a shoe, but you know. Uh, do you have any specials? Uh, um, like I said before, the food. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, no, no chairs, no carpet, no, no. It was my night. May I offer you a drink? What do you have? Um, we're out of everything. <laughs> wow. You are just really not in luck tonight. I mean, now I have to go write this awful review and just the food? Really? How is that sad? So when you like an appetizer? What do you have that's cooked? Um, we do have this one French fry. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, it's all out. Out of the way, eating the baby, baby chocolates. <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Wow, wow, there's a lot of them. I know, I just like round them up from around town and just started leading them through. It's like a duckling parade. That one's really tasty, especially with orange sauce. Oh, I love that. They're <laughs> a monster. <laughs> I wonder how they would taste with mandarins. Oh, I hear it's really good. True. <laughs> They're killing the babies. Well, they're Wait, delicious. it's winter. I'm sorry, I gotta go to Florida. Speaking of oranges. <laughs> Why would you possibly kill and eat these precious things? I mean, because they're so delicious. They just follow you around everywhere. But they're so delicious. Have you ever tried them with duck sauce? <laughs> I find that ironic. <laughs> I don't know you, stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've never met her before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd really love it if you said yes. No. All right, stand up! What <laughs> can stand up, I say? What if I want to lay down? Welcome to the old boys' camp. My name's Brenda. <laughs> Survey, would you like to participate? <laughs> 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 
Oh, so funny. Oh. Question one. What's your favorite color? Purple! No, that's my favorite color. You can't. No, I'm going to have purple. No. Mother, <laughs> no. Question number two. <laughs> Where would you most like to vacation? Away from here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Pompeii. I heard it's beautiful. It's away from here an actual place. <laughs> away from Pompeii. Nice. Nice. Do you guys ever get the feeling that there's people watching you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 I, I feel like there's people watching me and I don't know what to do. Sit here and close my eyes because if I can't see them, they can't see me. And it's all <laughs> <laughs> great. Oh my God. I am here to save the day. I'm not. <laughs> well, obviously, that's why I'm here. If you're saving the day, should I be ruining the day? No. It'll leave my job a lot easier. Okay. So, who here needs saving? I don't. <laughs> so it must be me! Yes! So, what's the problem? Excuse me, what are you doing in my house? Cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, carry on. Look at that room over there, please. The room over here? Yeah. Thank you. No, a little further. A little further. <laughs> That's <laughs> Through the door. Should I go with him? Yes. Please show him where it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> are going to be the people in the dubbed movie, and the other two actors are going to be their voices. And what's going to happen is um, one voice actor will be with one actor, and then another voice actor will be with the other. And the, there will be a scene chosen from you guys, and the voices will have to say what the other actors are thinking, or what they're saying. <laughs> and um, the actors have to like try to mouth it, so it comes off as like a really bad dub movie. So we need a scene from you guys. <laughs> Any suggestions? We look like you have a scene. What's a scene? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, son. Okay. Uh, it's Larry the Cube Guy. Sorry, Medea. Okay, Lance. 
Harry. Shoulder to Harry. <laughs> Whatever you say, Matteo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then, as you amplify the noise, you try to suck up things around you as you sing. <laughs> so why don't you try it out? <laughs> I have to deal with it, so so do you. <laughs> Brilliant! And I also have to say, your glasses on your on your head. Brilliant! So next, you have the net. This is our second to last competition for you. As you whack yourself in the head with the net, you're trying to catch butterflies out of your hair. Underwater? Underwater! <laughs> Don't forget that, that's very important. As you do that, you sing Underwater! Underwater! I know, it's brilliant! Okay. Astounding! <laughs> and now, for our final we have the container of shame. <laughs> it makes me feel so shameful. As I sing under this, I sound brilliant. So, so can you, as you sing under the container of shame. The container of shame? Don't worry, it's not shameful. <laughs> because it's underwater! <laughs> That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you win! talk to themselves. You can hear their thoughts, and that's how you start singing. You start with the detective's thoughts as he's going into the crime. Then you pull back, see a bit of dialogue, then they just keep stepping forward and back, in saying their thoughts, if I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, they, as they talk, they try to deduce the mystery. And the crime we come up is, came, is thought of by you guys. Alright, so what's the crime? Jiminy Cricket was kidnapped off the Empire State. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cold, dark day in New York. And Pinocchio lost Jimmy Cricket. Hmm. So now I've got this little wooden boy missing his conscience. I bet. So we narrowed down the suspects to an old lady on Central Street. Is there a Central? I don't think there's a Central Street in New York. Oh well, it's on Central Street. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I am from the. Oh, I know. <laughs> I am here looking for Jiminy Cricket. Our uh, sources say. You're gonna read me stories? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> we suspect you for kidnapping Jiminy Cricket. I like stories. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a small green cricket with a top hat and an umbrella and tailcoat? Well, I have some ants in the basement of your This broad is nuts. A <laughs> little boy is missing his conscience, and it's my job to get him back. Oh, is that the story with Pinocchio? Yes, Pinocchio is lost. 
Pinocchio. 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 Pinocchio.
and that goes on until there's the first actor left doing the scene alone. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go, dear. I think this is the best thing to do. If you 
run away real fast into your room and hide in the corner and play with your Legos. Make Did you make home. crap bag and cheese for me? Yes, it's, it's sitting in your room. Okay, good. Your little sporty light. Alright, so we're doing all sorts of other ones. We're doing an E minor, missing things up a little bit. You have to stop eating your papers. <laughs> Oh, I hope 
Oh, people too. Why are there two posts? Oh, wait. Hold on. There are two people.
Okay. Uh, so we'll each take three slips of paper, and um, we'll need a scene from the audience. And at any given point during the scene, uh, we have a line caller who will just say our name and line, and we'll have to take one of these uh, pieces of paper out, say it. Sometimes it makes sense. Most of the time it doesn't, but either way, it's always a lot of fun. So, uh, no matter what I do, I'm gonna blind someone, I'm sorry. <laughs> so like, three,
lines to carrots. Of lines? Lines. <laughs> Not lines. <laughs> lines. What's our scene? You're on Situation. The hmm? Doing, the doing what? Fighting El Paso. Mooning. Okay. Oh, no. oh, oh, dancing. 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 dancing on the moon. We're what? I'm so confused. Okay, we're dancing on the moon. Okay, we're dancing on the moon. Yeah, we're dancing on the moon! Party hard. Party hard. You are hard. no fun. We are on the moon. Get 
Nah, boogie on. Mm. What is he doing? I didn't realize that was a man. <laughs> is that really dancing? No, I'm not. I'm just trying to help. This doesn't have to be so rude. She really thinks she can do better? <laughs> okay. Maybe we should see it. I can totally do this better. Like that. No, 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 you're not a monkey. Excuse me. You go. You know what I am. <laughs> Starting to think he is a monkey. That's terrible. You're terrible. I know. Don't rub it in. Just rub it in. Some people are so rude. This guy just can't take a hint. Look, this is single disco night. I'm trying to have I see why you're single. Oh, that's the other guy. Did that seriously just come out of my mouth? Oh my God. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. I might call a manager. You sure you know how to do that? Yeah. You sure? Sometimes I just have no idea what I'm saying. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! This girl doesn't even want to talk. I mean, yeah, I'm not a single Cisco, but so is she. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what do you see now? Oh no. My sarcasm is going to come out again. What the heck? Keep dancing. Dancing and having fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, now he's really creeping you out. Funky town. What is this? Oh, God, I'm singing. I'm singing. Funky I won't. Town. Oh. I don't want to go to Funky Town. If I wanted to go to Funky Town, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to have a good night, and you're just like... And I'm just like, what? Funky Town. Funky... Do I even have to say it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Dancing, have fun. Have fun. Oh, Echo. <laughs> seriously, emphasis. Seriously, need a way to get away from this guy. Like, run. Where are you going? Hey. <laughs> More dance floor for me. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you sit on the right 
Yeah. Now, bachelor, you ask a question, and then all these beautiful, wonderful bachelorettes are gonna answer it. Does that sound good? That sounds beautiful. Yes. Round one. So, bachelor one. Bachelorette one. <laughs> I got myself. If we were gonna have a first romantic date, where would you take me? Why am I taking you? Aren't you the guy? It's Shouldn't just a, you be taking me? I'm just asking about what you would think would be right. Personality and all that. Why do I have to answer? Why am I even here? How does the beach sound? Does that sound all right? That sounds wonderful. I love it. Do you like the beach? I love the beach. Good, I think. Is that okay? That's okay. <laughs> Bachelorette, Bachelorette number two. <laughs> Where would you take me on a first romantic date? Um, well, I, 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 I would uh, t uh, take you to a... Um, <laughs> I would take you to the m m m m movies. <laughs> you to go see that Lego movie. <laughs> Bachelorette number three. Yeah. Where would you take me on the first romantic date? I think I'd like to go to like Payless or like the <laughs> or like I don't know anywhere that's a nice big sale. Cause I really I need some new heels and uh, you could probably always use sneakers. I mean, who couldn't use sneakers? Okay. <laughs> cool. Bachelorette number four. Where would you take me on the first romantic date? Why would I want to date you? I mean, I would love to date you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> wow. Someone's moody. <laughs> Well, sparks are flying! <laughs> All over the place. Anyway, now's the time for round two! Explosions and background! You may ask your second rounded question. Bachelorette number four. Hi. Hi. What would you get me for a present on Valentine's Day? Well... I wouldn't get you anything, because you are just so rude. I mean, I would get you uh, a teddy bear. That's not kind. Bachelorette number three. Mm -hmm. What would you get me for Valentine's Day? Well, I know what I wouldn't get you. I wouldn't get you Crocs. I mean, who would even wear them? <laughs> cool. You didn't really answer it, but anyway. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. Yeah. What would you get me for Valentine's Day? Um, probably some um, good diet of chocolate. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Sounds tasty. Bachelorette number one. What? Rude. What would you get me for Valentine's Day? Why am I getting you anything? Shouldn't you be getting me things? Do you like chocolate? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Isn't the chocolate gross? I especially like... Isn't it too sweet? I like chocolate in the shape of chickens and cows. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> you like chickens? <laughs> Ew. I think. Are chickens gross? Are they? Have I had chickens? <laughs> Any the chicken. Now. Any time now. How about chocolate? Sounds delicious. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for round three. Three. Two explosions. Woo! <laughs> nice. Well, her. Okay. So round okay. three is where you ask your final question. After you ask this final question to all of them, you will decide which one shall stay, which is only one, 
And the one. And which one you're gonna break the hearts of? Yes. Uh, cool. Aren't you a little depressing? And they'll be alone in their mother's basement <laughs> for around thirty years. <laughs> and who asks, "Hey, mom, I want some waffles. I've asked for an hour." Bachelorette number one. What? If you were gonna cook me a home style dinner, what dish would you make and why? What am I cooking? <laughs> Wouldn't I burn the house down? Can I cook? Can you cook? My mama can't. <laughs> <laughs> why am I cooking anything? Can't we just go out? No. Can't we get takeout? This is just a dating game and a question. <laughs> a question. Why? Uh, do I have to? Yes. Why? <laughs> Why do I have to cook? What is cooking? So bachelorette number two. <laughs> what would you cook as a home style dinner for me? Um, well, I like um, get. The, 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 I make a the, 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 the pasta. <laughs> and uh, I top it off with a uh, tomato. <laughs> and um, garnish it off with a little b b basil. Horrible. <laughs> 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 Bachelorette number three. Yeah. What would you cook me for a romantic home style dinner? You stop. Uh -oh. I don't know. Probably something like quick and easy that we can use on a picnic. So we can wear like hiking boots or, you know, well, you really can't wear sandals out on a picnic because then that would hurt if you go for long walks. So something fun that we can do outdoors, so like sandwiches or like maybe on a sole. I get it. <laughs> Bachelorette number four. What are you getting? What would you cook me for a romantic home style dinner? Well, I would probably cook chicken pot pie. Why would you cook chicken pot pie? That's like the stupidest thing ever. You don't even like chicken. But I do like chicken. No, you don't. <laughs> Maybe you're the one that doesn't like chicken. Maybe you're right. Oh, I wouldn't make you anything. I don't even want to be here. She told me to be here. <laughs> slightly depressed. <laughs> Why? All right, well, now that was the final round. Two explosion sharks, Woo! lasers, and Bang! sharks. Yes. Now, Why? What, now what you're going to do is you're going to pick the first three that you Couldn't want to thing. be booted out and why. Bachelorette number one. A what? Yeah. I. Shh. I don't want to be your girlfriend because. Nothing <laughs> 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 too quick. Or your boyfriend if you want. <laughs> don't be because I don't like whiny toddlers. I'm not. Why am I a whiny toddler? Who said I was a whiny toddler? Are you not a whiny toddler? Am I? I don't think she's a whiny toddler. So she's not. No. Bachelorette number three. Yeah. So I don't want to be your boyfriend. That's the word. <laughs> because you're too obsessed with shoes. Yeah, you'll break her heart. Fair enough. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you noticed that? Bachelorette number four. What do you want? <laughs> She's not very pleasant. I don't want to be your boyfriend. Oh. For two reasons. One, you're my sister. <laughs> and two, you seem to be bipolar or have split personalities. Hey! Yes, <laughs> well, she just heard everything for me! I'm sorry! <laughs> Bachelorette number one. Yeah? You asked too many questions. Yay! Why? 
And Scott, that, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> Bachelorette number two, I want you to be my girlfriend. Oh. Because I like people with that stutter. Yeah, get him, girl. Cool. 
They're supposed to hear. I hear voices. Oh, dang it. She can see. Come in. I don't feel like getting doors. I'm broke as I am. You're not I'm a very here. good magician, are you? Well, I'm not a magician, so. Okay, good. Because <laughs> you're really not good at it. Oh, come in. First of all, gross. Second of all, hi. Hi. Great, germaphobes here. Come in. That's not bad. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. I love it when my friends come and sing everything. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. You too. What are you doing? Uh, uh, uh harvesting. Harvesting? <laughs> Wrangling. Wrangling? Well, I really don't. I like when poachers come into my house and try well, to I'm not steal my pets. I'm not. Okay, but please don't put my cat down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'll just try again. Uh, okay, what? Uh, are, are you? Hi. What's your name again? Oh, the name's Gordon. Gordon, hi. Nice to meet you. Yes. Hi. 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 So, are you having fun? Sure. Good. I'm just going to fold your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I usually don't keep my laundry in the living room, but thank you for folding those. How did those get there? Watch it! You're like squatting over the food. It's I'm kind of sorry! Of I'm doing my job! God, it's not very well. I really don't Look like exterminators. What are you doing to my money? Ah! <laughs> I don't understand you. I'm new to the job, okay? Clearly. <laughs> what is, what are you doing? I'm practicing my magic. Okay, um, Hogwarts is that like? Cool. Yeah. I smell like the ocean. <laughs> That's why everybody else is over there. Maybe. <laughs> I still smell like the ocean. I've noticed. I fish for a living, you know. Oh, okay. And I put them in boxes and refrigerate them in grocery stores. <laughs> You can trust me. <laughs> I'm not sure that I can. I'm sure you can. Okay. <laughs> Why are you moving things? Please. That's my goldfish. Oh my. No. She's going to have to them. Please. Why do you keep hunting them? I'm not hunting. Well, it kind of looks like you are. You're trapping them. Thank you. I'm Yes. But the 
dude with the rain hat on. <laughs> you're that dude. That guy. I don't know what your brand is, but I know that I've seen you places. Please get out. His name is Gordon. <laughs> Why? Well, our name is Gordon. And he's a fisherman. Trust the Gordon's fisherman. <laughs> Sure. Did you want me to say well, something? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing this for six years. Um, I bought two homes in Mulford. One of them I live in, and the one, and the other is a three-story uh, old Victorian home that uh, I converted into a, a a living space for 27 women and children. Uh, it's 
a daily struggle. Um, we have uh, people come from different, for different various reasons, from uh, displacement f due to loss of jobs, mental health issues, um, drug and alcohol, um, and uh, DV, domestic violence, obviously. Um, and the hardest thing is, is that they have children that are in need of security and, um, and a safe place. And we try to provide not just a place to sleep, but also a comfortable home that has TV and internet and cable. We offer um, job placement, computer um, classes, resume writing classes. We have etiquette and uh, elocution classes. We have game night. We have many, many different programs that we provide for these women and children. And I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and I'm so sorry. In one of the classes that we have, we have one of our teachers here, our instructors, and it's Marsha. <laughs> and she teaches our, um, our creative writing class, and she's just amazing and so precious. And um, she has been working with our, our shelter for quite some time now for uh, the Women and Children's Center. So thank you so much, um, and anything that uh, anybody has that they'd like to donate, or any time that they would like to donate, um, we're trying to uh, do the third floor because it's not usable at the moment. So we're actually trying to do a fundraiser to get the money to be able to um, open that up so that we have some more space for for women and children. Um, the Double Tree, um, we're doing a fundraiser on July 3rd, uh, a Chinese auction, which is kind of what you saw tonight, uh, with some really high ticketed items and hopefully um, some very nice items that will be up for auction. It's going to be a cocktail, um, a cocktail uh, uh, party kind of thing. I would have been great as a stutterer. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. You have no idea how much this means to us, um, and we would greatly appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kara. You're welcome. Our pleasure. Come back and see us soon. We have lots going on. Yes. Yes. Thank you.